So, Molly. Yes, Alex Grossberg. Who happened to just walk in the door? I tell you, with this out of the blue, looking fantastic lime green as always, by the and way. black rain jacket is none other than our two episodes ago, <laughs> Christy George. Which, by the way, I just listened to that episode. One it's of the f- so funny, hilarious folks. So what funny. you want to do is go back and listen to that episode because it is yeah, it's, it's so ridiculous. funny. Yeah, so yeah, funny. You want to get right up close? Welcome, to Welcome, Christy. There. Get close to the microphone. It's going to be hard to write and get this close to the microphone, good but point. that's okay. Well, that's the good right. news is it's all being recorded, so you can oh, just listen later. I forgot yeah. that. I forgot uh, that. Let me, uh, Christy, you look fantastic. Oh, Those thank you. Though. Look at this. You thing. do. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the, this, the whole situation here is just <laughs> it's a lovely. Situation. It's lovely. you got a situation going <laughs> on situation there. Well, and I will tell on. you, I've become acutely aware of how unfashionable I am lately because, and here's- Was it because I said that that one time about you and no, wearing your, I forget what my store. Con- I, my Converse All-Star Shoes? No, oh, boy. it was some store that I mocked you on, the, the, oh, but I can't Banana remember. Republic? Oh, well, now I love Banana Republic. Ban- Banro? Guess I why? <laughs> Guess why I love it? Why? Kevin Love just came out with his new line from Banana Republic. Banana Republic is one of the only two places I buy any clothes from. But that's not who... I don't... Maybe that was. I don't know. All right. Christy George, what can we answer for you while we're, we're here? When I was here doing the podcast with you, I, I was so impressed with mm. the podcast and what you all are doing for business in the area and i wanted to do a little piece on that in my publication neighbors magazine yes one of the best uh magazines uh, of all time by the way we are kind of media whores so we like to get we like to get our (laughs) name out there yeah oh yes alex grisberg i'm a i'm a media flirt you're a media whore (laughs) oh boy i don't know about that so I I was very interested in what was the genesis of mm. the podcast. Depends and, who you ask. Well, then I well, you can each take a turn <laughs> as to what I the think genesis we have was. The, the the gist of it, yes, Alex. Do you want to go first, Molly? Okay, I'll give my version. Okay. Alex and I were sitting down one day, fully clothed. Make sure you write that in there. Important. Don't leave it. Don't leave that <laughs> to the listener's imagination. Fully right now. clothed. Yes. And we were talking about amazing people in the area. And um, we had two different opinions on what makes an amazing person. Um, and oh, okay. Alex talked a little bit about trophies and bank accounts. I don't know if it was bank accounts more than it was. It was financial rewards, your, and yeah. it, it absolutely was. Awards, and it was. He's going to say, no, that's where we differ. That's not how it went down. And Go I ahead. was more of the, you know, that nonprofits do great work. That So we decided let's interview people and find out if we could get a recipe on what makes an amazing person. And if we fail with getting that, at least we'll be hanging out with amazing people on Monday nights. Let me tell you how it really went down. (laughs) So um, most of that was true. What I was saying was that this is a, a business law firm, so most of the people that I interact with professionally are business owners, right, client wise at least, and how I thought it would be cool to have a podcast where we interviewed amazing people where I defined amazing by how the extent to which you maybe owned a business or led other people or um, grew an organization. And Molly, you said, no, Alex, I don't think that Isn't we should amazing? measure. No, listen, listen. I'm he gonna, remembers what I'm gonna, I said. I'm going to circle back to because I. I yeah. Because what you did say was what you just said, which is, I don't think we should measure amazing by the size of someone's bank account. And I said, I agree. Uh, And you said that. (laughs) You thought that was going a whole other direction. That was a different. Christy got, that's Christy doing it. I I knew that would peak. It's only because I'm sitting next to you. (laughs) So, no. And I, so I said, I agree. It doesn't have to be somebody with trophies and with. Uh, lots of, of money in the bank. And and so I think where we landed, though, Molly, correct me if I'm wrong, is that we both agreed that Amazing did ultimately um, 
have something to do with how many lives you impact and how you're able to help other people, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so that's why if you go down the notorious list of guests that we have, what you'll see as as a pattern is that these are people who have really made an impact Mm -hmm. on their fellow humans. And Alex did start one prior to me. And failed, obviously, because I wasn't involved in it. That's true. <laughs> Although, you you know what? You were one of the first was, guests on that one, too. I was on the first one. Then they ever yeah. asked me back, and then it failed. That so. was We were going to call it uh, 5 o'clock scotch time. <laughs> you could uh-huh. tell it, it devolved into a lot of slurred Went downhill speech. downhill after that. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. You know what's funny? In that one, Molly, I, I think that was one of the first times that you and, ever, you and I drank together, and you're, you were like, I don't drink. It always gives me migraines. Yeah, it does. Except now, Molly drinks like a fish. <laughs> so not true. Oh, my God. You're a I lush. barely ever drink. Whatever. You have oh migraines all the time. All the time. Or are you just over yeah. it? You don't even have them anymore. Even know what Molly's about. a walking <laughs> migraine. <laughs> He's, although now we can use cream of tartar for migraines, I heard. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it's a, it doesn't sound we, we it's know not a girls, spice. Girls know what it is. Is that yeah. a thing? Yeah, it's a what do you do with it? seasoning. Yeah. It gets a, rid of migraines? No. That's what they say. That's, no, I don't, that's that I don't on the know. street. Yeah, breaking news. It's the word on the street? Breaking news, Cream yes. of tartar yeah, you gets put it rid of migraines? And you swallow The water, powder type? Yes. The powder. Yeah, look on Facebook. It's the new rave. Oh, Okay, so Anywho. if I could just feed this please. back yes. to you a please. little bit. Yes. It started out with really trying to discern what makes an amazing person. Mm-hmm. Yes. You had one idea, which seemed to be monetary to me. And then He's going to debate on that. Yeah. And, and, and you were really much more ethereal about the whole thing. Let's just say we both we we disagreed a little bit on what makes an amazing person, and then we decided to dive into figuring out what makes an amazing person. But then you both agreed upon the more the the number of people that someone impacts does have an effect on whether they fall into the amazing category or not. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty lenient on who we choose to select. But you, that you had one, me. Yeah, you know, but because that, but that is one of the ones that we would come back to, right. to making sure that at least it falls under that, you know, right? I mean, once you sure. say, like, when we're yeah, going it, through our list, we do... We well, do have it, some. It doesn't have to be guidelines. a large number of people. It could, you could impact, impact like us, one person, right? So long as you your... could have turned their life around. Yes, mm-hmm. for I think instance. that's fair. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, like remember we had um, uh, the um, oh, Joe. What was his name? He went to Jacobs. help. Uh, jo- Joe, Joe Jacobs. Jacobs. Yeah, this guy. Um, lo- he he loaded up his box truck and filled it with donated supplies and drove it to do hurricane relief in florida right right right. and he's just a a a small business owner here in chagrin Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right that would be a good a good art you know archetype for our guest right there supposed to oh jim alooney and oh that's right michael jim alooney's a a, a, a very impactful guy yeah and then you have uh michael henry who was in haiti right right doing um like peacekeeping work or, or UN yeah, work? Yeah, he, he was a missionary yeah. In, in, uh, yeah. for quite a while. I mean, seven years. He spent right. seven did, years out of did you country. Know, did you know when that giant earthquake hit? He, he was, was there. He was in the one building in yeah. like Port-au-Prince, Haiti that remains standing. And yeah. he walked out of it after the earthquake and every building around him was in rubble and just filled with dead people. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think you have an amazing person that, came that is here waiting you no no oh <laughs> well okay. in addition um but the thing that i found in addition to what the genesis was was how many businesses you are giving an opportunity um to speak to their business on this podcast and and so that was the thing that I was so excited about because you're really doing this for the business community. And I think it's exciting too, you know, you go into a business and you know that Alex Gertzberg owns the Gertzberg Law Firm, but that's about all people might know about him. Mm-hmm. And this gives a stage or a platform for that business owner to talk about going to Haiti and and mm-hmm. being there for the earthquake where people might just see Mike Henry as an agent 
um, or Jim Alooney as the right. fire inspector, but would know that he, you know, was almost yeah. killed. Uh, so I think we give that opportunity for that voice for right. much to, bigger to perspective. Share. Yeah. Well, and you know this too, Christy, because you were a guest, right? We we try to ask questions that get behind the organization and get to the person and get to their stories. And I think that's important for people to know their is, failures and how they yeah. overcome them. And right. right, so they'll so they'll know that you know stick, staying with Michael Henry that he's a really good realtor, but they would never know that behind this real estate organization that he's built and is growing a lot is you know a person with all of these really great life experiences. If it's okay to draw this parallel, that is, and, and maybe this is just an unabashed. Um, stab at, at Neighbors Magazine, but that's why we do the feature article. That's it's yeah. it's all mm-hmm. about. You might be a business owner, but what's behind the person? Right, absolutely. And so, but this really gives a great platform <clears throat> to business. Through and we want the, more. Th- through well, you want more, like you know, anybody reading this. Oh. Yeah. You know, we're, we've only done 61 episodes. We haven't even scratched the surface of the amazing businesses right. that are here in the yeah. Schroen Valley. Yep. I mean, haven't yeah. even begun. Well, uh, and I just personally would like to thank you for, for doing this for Christy the community. George, my goodness. I, well, no, I mean it sincerely. I, I wouldn't have offered to do this because I think it is spectacular what you do for for business and business owners, um, obviously through the chamber, but... Alex is so involved with that that I am um, just very impressed with how the two of you do things continuously throughout the community. Well, that's because Molly's very violent with me. And so <laughs> oh, here we go. she comes over here, there's like this cl- <laughs> spiked club, and I have to do her bidding or else I start getting scarred again. Um, we oh, all, I would say, the th- all three of us, seriously, are are very... Uh, interested in helping our business neighbors and our people neighbors. You it know, only and, makes sense. Yeah. And, and we're all in, in it together. I will say this too, Molly. I, I mean, to Christy's point, we've, I think, built a pretty good following um, and a pretty good audience here. And so to the extent that we're able to help our neighbors get their stories out the same way you are, Christy, I think that's just a universal good, right? That's just a, a, a good thing to do for people. You do it in print, and we do it on yeah. microphone. On podcast, you know what we yeah, should do. It's, it's really fun. Can I make a suggestion here? Sure. Right. So, folks listening at home, what you're going to want to do is check out Neighbors, the magazine, and then Mail you're going to want to send your mailbox, and then you're going to want to send Christy uh, an email explaining to her why she should feature you or uh, or one of your neighbors in there, and then similarly, when you read this profile in neighbors magazine that christy's gonna write and you think that you would be a good guest Ooh. on our podcast you're gonna want to send an email to go to the website yeah. go to the or director at cvc.org or ag at gertzberglaw.com lots yeah. of ways to get a lots of ways yeah or just right. knock us down on the street. We we would love to take some photographs of the the interview Ooh. that you have yeah, so coming come in. She's sitting right She's out there. there. She's Has waiting. Someone greeted her. Nope. Or said hello. We've been very rude. <laughs> um, All right. So I will. Oh, well. Thank Do you have you. any you have any more questions, Christy? I would have lots of questions, but I'm going to let it go so that we can get the individual well, and I can too. watch and take a few notes of you the know, interview. We have a fourth mic. We could let Christy be a guest interviewer with us. Do you want to stick around, Christy? <laughs> How could I resist right. that? If you said, uh, no, I got a thing <laughs> right now, Molly and I would be very dejected. I know. Hi, Nellie. How you doing? Hi, Alex. I'm great. How are I, you? Did I catch you by surprise just now? I mean, we just dove right in there. Just dove right in. Just dove right you in. You were about to go get coffee, uh, and I appreciate it. That was very nice. Nelly, um, there's uh, some information we need to get out to our uh, awesome audience um, about Christy George's episode, and um, what is that information that you'd like to get out there? Don't well, shake your head. Just Thanks to everybody for listening. Yes. This far, you've just heard Christy George interviewing Alex and Molly. Thanks, people. And you may want to hear 
the episode that she stayed on as guest host for, which was episode 61, Kim Scala. Right. So uh, you're going to want to go to uh, the best podcast ever. Dot com. Dot com. Or on iTunes or Stitcher or Spotify or YouTube. Right. You'll find the episode at all of those yeah. places. So uh, Christy was our guest host on Kim Scala's episode. Uh, 61. So, 61. So if you want to keep hearing Christy George's lovely voice, go there. And Ellie, anything else we'd like to get out to the, our listening audience? Well, I thought that the listeners might also want to go back to episode number one. Ooh. Because in this bonus episode, Christy was asking you guys what you had in mind when you started the show. Right. And in episode one, the very first episode of Best Podcast Ever, you and Molly sat down and talked about this. Mm. So we can go back and see what you really had in mind yeah. and how you remembered it, if that's changed. Don't because be all judgy when you listen to that, folks, because that was uh, our first episode and we didn't know what we were doing and we had lousy uh, equipment. That's um, true. So <clears throat> listen to it, but um, be mostly impressed at how far we've come. <laughs> <laughs> I also would... Uh, let people know that they can find Christy George's full episode as episode 59 Ooh. to learn more about Christy herself and Neighbors Magazine. That was a really good episode. And we'll have a link to the issue. That was an interesting thing because she interviewed us on our podcast, but it was really an interview for her article, right? Right. 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 Yeah. And that all went down. I mean, everybody knows because they've just listened to that. This right. is, this is after that. Oh, all right. They've all cut, figured that out. We'll just cut out. that out. <laughs> I don't think you understand the concept here. Now I do. Shut up. All right, uh, thanks. Bye. All right. <laughs>